great race with none of the bull. We are talking LeBron James and the Lakers this morning because LeBron Just did some talking yesterday. At Lakers Media Day, LeBron is 137 it years is. old. Not really, but so it seems. His roster, the oldest in the league. The questions about it amuse LeBron to no end. Take a listen. And then the narrative about our our, our, our age, I, I really, I, I kind of laugh at it. Um, you know, I, I actually really do laugh at them. I'm not just saying that, but uh, some of them, some of the memes and some of the jokes have been, I mean, extremely funny. Um, and just some of it is just, uh, you know, just trying to get people to read tabloids and things of that nature. But uh, the game is won in between those four lines. Um, and it's not won um, on the bottom ticker. It's not won in a newspaper. Um, it's not won on, uh, you know, sports talk shows and things of that nature. Um, you know, if we come out and we, we put the time in, we put the work in, um, we make our own narrative. And, uh, and one thing that we know, um, where we are, uh, we got a bunch of guys that's been in this league for quite a while that understands and what, know, what knows what it takes to win. And that's the business that we're in, of winning. All right, the Lakers, by the way, Ouch. facts, not narrative. Lakers are older than everyone else by almost two years. But nine teams have won a title with an older roster than L.A., also fact. So, Broussard, is their narrative about the Lakers legit or just a talking point? Well, first, LeBron showed how old he was by referencing newspapers and tabloids. You know? And I'm happy for it. That's great. I used to write for a newspaper, a newspaper. So, shout out to LeBron. But, look, I, I get why LeBron laughs at it. In his 18th year, he was a legitimate MVP candidate. He's entering his 19th year, and he is roundly believed to still be a top five player. Those two things have never happened, ever in the history of basketball. So he's been somewhat ageless, all right? But the rest of those dudes, Nick referenced it, six Hall of Famers in that photo. Yeah, Dwight Howard, <coughs> Carmelo, Ray John Rondo, oh, they old. Those brothers are showing their age. And I didn't even throw in DeAndre Jordan. All right? This is not a narrative. The Lakers are, in fact, oh, you saw it. They're two years older. We think the Golden State is old. And the Lakers are two years older than them. Even LeBron, his, even he is showing the effects of some age because, look, and when you get older, it's not that you can't still play at a high level. It's that you have trouble playing at a high level consistently, and then injuries become a problem. And LeBron, in yeah. two of his last three years, all three of his years in L.A., two of those seasons have ended with serious injuries to him. And the one season he got through, he had a four-month hiatus right in the middle. That's age. That's all that I really believe when LeBron was younger that those injuries would not have been nearly as serious. He would have healed a lot quicker. And that's where age comes in. The Lakers, there's two questions facing them this season. We all know it. Number one is the age. And number two is the chemistry and fit, Wilds. But this is LeBron knows deep down inside he's one of the smartest guys to ever play the game. He is a literal historian of the game. He knows that this age thing is legitimate. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I'm less worried about chemistry because LeBron seems to be a chemistry magician. You can put anybody on that squad and he makes it work. I am worried about the age. And at the same time, Nick, I'm rooting for the Lakers. And people think that's in conflict. It's not true. I once took a plane in the Caribbean uh, that had ashtrays on it. I said, oh, boy, I'm a little bit worried. I, I'm rooting for this plane to make it. Yeah. But if it doesn't, I'm going to know why. Because people were smoking on this plane 40 years ago. So I'm, it's fair to be worried. And here's why. I think, and, and last year was a weird year because the layoff was uh, protracted because of COVID screwed everything up. But we saw in last year's playoffs, it was less of uh, a great team coming together to win and more of a war of attrition. Obviously, Harden went down, Kyrie went down, uh, Donovan went down, Mike Conley went down, Jamal Murray wasn't there, Clay was never there the whole time. Oh. So we saw so, Kawhi went down. We saw so many teams just kind of fall out that you saw the Suns and Bucks, because they were the healthiest teams, win. 
And when the Suns were, when Chris Paul looked like it, I was like, oh, it looks like the Lakers will win. No, nope, the Lakers actually more hurt than the Suns, so the Suns will win. So as long as the Lakers stay healthy, I think they'll be fine. And in order to do that, Nick, I think they should embrace load management like never seen before. Let Russ have a game like good news, Russ. You're, we're playing Thunder Russ tonight. What does that mean? You get to play like you're on the Thunder. Yeah. Do everything because LeBron is going to rest. I know LeBron doesn't like that. He wants to show up. He feels like there's a duty to the league. Yeah. But they should just wrap their arms around load manage management to well, be able to make it through a full season, 82 games. Last year, they missed a ton of games. There were only 72. All right, so I, I think they will do a degree. And by the way, as you were listing all those injuries from last year, one thing stuck out in my head, almost all the guys you mentioned were in their 20s, which is to say injuries can come for anybody. And while I agree, of course, you are more injury prone the older you get, Jamal Murray is not an old man, just like Kyrie's not an old man, Harden's not an old man. Guys, you can get hurt in this league. And the reason I think that the age stuff is a little overplayed as this. The Lakers' second best player is not old. It's Anthony Davis, he is in the prime of his career. Their best player, LeBron, is old. He's the oldest guy in the league, essentially, that's gonna be a substantial contributor, aside from, it was Chris Paul, a little older than LeBron, aside from Chris Paul. So I get that part of it. But I also think our minds have been a little warped by the timeline of these last few years. One year ago today, today, one year ago today, what was LeBron doing? He was coming off, let me get it exactly right for you, a 38, 16, and 10 to beat the Nuggets and advance to the finals. What did he do in those finals, which again, we have not reached the one year anniversary for? Oh, 30, 12, and nine on 59%. That series ended October 11th of last year. We're not yet into October of this year. So the idea that like, well, LeBron's not what he once was. No, he is. And I, while I'll buy Broussard's point that the groin injury he that he suffered in year one with the Lakers, he would have recovered from quicker if he were younger. Solomon Hill hurtling himself into his ankle was not, he that's not an age-related injury, nor an age-related recovery. All right, I'm sorry, clumsily somersault into his ankle. My apologies, Solomon, <laughs> Wilde is right. It wasn't because you did it on purpose, it's just because you're not that coordinated, my bad. But that's not age-related, that's bad luck-related. I, I think it is. The bigger storyline to me, Broussard, is that the Lakers acquired, and we found out definitively yesterday, this offseason, the best center in basketball. His name's Anthony Davis. Because with Russ there, not only is LeBron gonna be able to play less, or you know, have not have his hand on the joystick as much, AD confirmed, I'm gonna play the position I always should have been playing. So they're gonna have the best center in basketball, either the best or the second best power forward in basketball, depending on how you rank LeBron and Giannis, so which makes them unquestionably the best front court in basketball. So no, I'm not worried. If LeBron gets hurt again this year, then it's probably a wrap then like, okay, he's to the injury prone portion of his career and they can't win if LeBron's not out there. But AD's not old, and if LeBron's out there, they're the best team in the league. Well, AD's not old, but he's injury prone. And you, yeah. that's the thing with age. And I, look, I hope the Lakers are healthy as well. I want every team to be healthy, but especially the Lakers because it'll be a lot of fun to watch. But that is going to be a question mark from here on out for LeBron. And look, I'm with you, Nick. AD playing center. First of all, I, I want to see how much center he plays. I know he will start exactly. there and play a lot, but they're going to have Dwight and DeAndre, and we know AD doesn't want to do that. All right, and just quickly, he's not the best center in the league, man. Come on. Joel Embiid, Nikola, not, not Jokic, <laughs> but Joel Embiid's the best center in the league. Embiid. You think Embiid's better than thing. Anthony Davis? It's not even good at it. You yes. think Embiid yes. is better, an yes. but not your MVP, yes. your beloved Nikola Jokic? Down wow. underneath. That's a weird, yeah, Jokic weird is ranking, not. but that's okay. That's yeah, fine. Jokic was MVP. Okay. Right. So many other guys were hurt, but okay. yeah. Embiid's okay, the best. Okay, that's for 20 days. You know that. 20 days till the season tips off. Next